Good morning, YouTube. I'm sitting here uh, on my floor drinking my coffee. And I figured I'd take a video because it looks like maybe the baby Fenestratus are hatching. If they're not hatching yet, the, uh, the mama is definitely anticipating them hatching soon because she's been excavating a little hiding spot back there against the back of the tank. So when they start hatching, they can start moving them which is pretty uh, standard procedure. I've always seen them uh, make a nest. Once the eggs hatch, they move them to a different location. Yeah, the, uh, the parents have definitely changed color. They used to be a very dark, vibrant pink, and now they've gone almost a light pastel pink with just a little bit of orange showing up on their dorsal fin. As far as I can tell, only a couple of them didn't get fertilized. You can see how dark they've become, which means they've uh, developed. And she keeps staring at them, just waiting for them to start hatching. So I believe that will happen today. It's nice to have an unrelated pair of fish spawning like this usually you have to buy brothers and sisters raise them up as a group and then you end up you know just tightening the bloodlines the genetics just get that much closer as uh, the I think I've already said this but the uh, females spawned this is her second time her first uh, attempt was with a different male of a different uh, species so I got this mail from Oliver Clark at uh, Clark's Cichlids and Flower Horns, and he's grown into a nice fish. He's still a, a baby as far as viejas go. He's only, oh, nine inches, 10 inches. But there you go. Hope everybody has a great St. Patty's Day. Spring is right around the corner.